and the review from the sixth round. So here we go. So far it, everything is normal. Now Black decided to play this attachment. Usually Black plays here after the AI. Black played another attachment. Let's see what happened. It went actually quite simple. Also some exchanges and then Black played Tanuki. After this move, yeah, White can of course think about playing some Hane, but later there are quite chaotic situations, so complicated many cuts. Similar after this one, Black plays here and then again there are many cuttings. Also when Black has a, some small wall here on the top, when White decides to play quite simple move, then it's more difficult for Black to make some bigger use out of this wall. So if there is no fight, no cuttings, then this wall in the top left corner might be not so useful for black. So white decided to play this move and then we've got this kind of exchange. Then black played here to protect the lower right. So far I think everything is fine. Now black decided to take this one stone on the right and let white play here to attack this other stone on the top. If there is nothing around, usually it should be considered a little bit more interesting for white that's why usually black adds a move when black plays Hoshi. But now white is here quite low. So if in this top left white is white is low, black might still think about playing later some center moves. So here white gets a wall, but here white gets territory. It doesn't match that well. Let's say white gets a wall and here white gets territory. This wall is not so useful in this case because normally when having strong groups, having some walls, it's good to fight. Normally the walls are used for fighting. But like this, black gets territory there where is a wall, so it doesn't work together that well. So because of this, black can think also about playing from the other side, even though locally it's just not so good for black. But together with this shape in the top left, it's okay for black. White tried to resist, white played this move. In this situation when black has already some thickness, black also has a ladder breaker, black was able to cut and it went quite nice for black. So I think it would be good to finish this opening here in the top right. Normally after this move, if white doesn't have a very strong situation so that white can resist after this cutting from black, usually white plays a move like this. So that black connects underneath on the second line and then white plays this kind of exchanges, white gets center. Here it's difficult for white to make a big territory on the top because there is also some end game. Of course not playing now, just for the future it might be possible for black to destroy white's potential if white wanted to make some territory on the top. But white's group is, is quite safe. So I think it would be better to play this exchange anyway and then playing here so that black cannot cut and attack white's groups. So here I think in this situation it would be good to play it just because black is strong and ladder works well for black. Like normally, even if the ladder worked well for, for white, still black can consider the situation as an okay, because it's not normal ponuki, it's ponuki with this move, so that overall this white shape is not so good. So black might also think about turning this normally, and it might be okay for black, especially that now white played this move to get some nice area on the top, but it wouldn't work in this case, so that if black played, for example, like this, so still I think it would be not so bad for black, but anyway, ladder doesn't work well for white, so black just attacks, and I think it's quite good for black in this case. Okay, so black played this move, it's also fine, it's one of the options. Okay, so here we've got some exchanges. Black basically makes fight, this is what black tries to do. Black stays here higher, black has power, black fights, black should be uh, satisfied. Then we've got some exchanges. So here there are some simple moves in the fight and now some strange things start to happen. Black played here this Kosumi. In my opinion it would be better to play a little bit different. This move I think it's quite slow. It would be possible for Black to play a bit faster. For example playing something like this. A simple jump I think is not so interesting for Black because White can peep immediately and then White gets a good shape. White can escape quite easily. But if Black plays the schema, White cannot cut Black there. I think it's impossible to get a nice result from this. So White can just play here trying to escape so black can anyway extend like this because of being this one move faster i think black can get quite nice shape outside even if white survives with this group black will get a very big wall and all the time black puts pressure over white so something like this shape should be black stones so i think this result can be anyway quite fine for black 
and if black plays here, white has more space, white can do a little bit more. And here black turned the side and white escaped anyway, and now black played this move. Yes, it is a tiger's mouth, but it's a tiger's mouth when there are no attachments. It's something like a hidden empty triangle. This shape from black here, because if we imagine that if we add white's move in the worst possible place, except letting black to kill, but in the worst possible place, let's say it would be here and black connects, we can already see an empty triangle. So this black shape is just not good. Normally tiger's mouth is a good shape when there are some attaching stones. When white had already a stone, for example, in this spot, in this spot, if white had some stone there, then it's fine, then it's good shape for black. But if there is nothing for white, this is just a bad shape. I would really recommend to avoid playing this kind of shape when there are no attaching stones. Because of this I'm wondering about playing something further, just getting a wall and all the time keeping pressure over white and getting some strength and then getting territory in the other parts of the board. Now white played here some move in the center to escape with this group. Okay, some exchanges, center, center, coming back so that white protected this what was on the top. Yeah, and this is actually the next thing if black played a bit further and black attacked this white group, at some point black would think, ah, maybe it's fine just to cut, destroying some white's territory on the top. In this situation, white played a few exchanges and later white just defended on the top, so white has their territory. Now black played here, it's quite big move, so black tries to get some nice moyo on the bottom. And now I think it's quite important strategic question. Is black's group here strong? or not so strong. On the start, I think it would be good to notice that this kind of move might be center for white. Also this kind of move. Because if black doesn't play anything there, later white can play here, here, basically possible to kill. Or even if black played some center move, it doesn't really change anything all the time possible to play the same. This kind of move is going to be center. So let's say black answers. And now if we see that black cannot connect this group with this group, we can already see that uh, actually this black group is not so strong. So I'm wondering about just playing something there for white. Like this other group, this other white group, this one here in the center, it doesn't have two eyes but it almost escaped. Like here white has the several jumps, here there are also some white stones, white has here some space. I think it should be possible to survive with this group. I think it's difficult for black to get some extra profit from attacking this white group because white already played the several jumps and here white has also some stones to escape to and also there is some space on the left and in the center. So now I think it's fine for white to make another group which will be weak. This group is not so weak, it's not like white makes two weak groups. Now when we are looking on this shape, when black being separated, for black it might be some problem to really escape. Because now if white plays this kind of move, black also needs to think about own shape, about some potential cuts. It might be difficult for black to just block, because like this white has a possibility to cut. White can also get some liberties, just in case, here on the second line. So it's difficult to block for black. And if black plays this tiger's mouth, now white is able to play something like this, white can escape. Black cannot cut, because like this black dies. If black plays this way, it's actually impossible to block either, because this will be center. If black just goes down, white can just do problems for black. I think it's not so easy for black to continue after white tries to make living with this one stone on the right. In my opinion, very important timing to do this now, because if white plays in Sansan and white makes their life, how it happened in the game, now black got a wall, it starts to be much more difficult to do any problems for black with this white stone, because black is already stronger. Black already got a wall and black got center, so black is able to add another move somewhere in the center. And because of this, giving black extra power when white had possibilities of escaping, now it's much more difficult for white to escape with the stone because black is here stronger. In the game, black played here several exchanges and then black protected here. I think these exchanges might be not so necessary. Still, they are center. So I think it's possible to wait with this. For example, at some point, if black decides to play this way, let's say we ignore this possibility of cut, uh, but at some point white might be able to connect in some other way, for example, something like this, later possible to make some eye here, or white might be thinking about playing like this, have a better connection, like bamboo joints. 
before these exchanges, if at some point black was able to make this exchange, like this, white doesn't have a choice. White connects because this exchange was already earlier, if black starts with this exchange. Of course, for now, it doesn't work. White will just cut and white will fight, but at some point it could be possibility for black to get a little bit better result out of this was there. And still, I think white wouldn't play anything around this shape. Like these kind of moves for white, they're just bad exchanges. Black is stronger in the center now. So these exchanges what black has just played, I think they are not so necessary. So now black protected here the shape, white played this move, and now some fight begins in the center. White played this move to basically lower black. If black comes back, yeah, then black's moyo is gone. Uh, so black, of course, cut like this, hoping to be able to attack both groups. So white wanted to play this exchange to get a bit stronger, adding some move so that this other stone will be stronger as well. Black, however, decided to focus on the bottom. So white was able to play several center moves on the left. And then white was struggling with making some life with this one stone. White played here several exchanges and I think this is okay. Just now I didn't understand why black decided to connect in this spot. About points, I think it's possible to play better. So if black plays here immediately, now there are some RG might be possible to play some Ko. So this is a risk for black, but if black makes this exchange first, now it's possible to play here. Like this, black gets more points. This stone here on the top, it's worth more points than simple connection here and possibility to kill this one white stone. So like this, I think black lost a few points while connecting. Now, interesting things begin. How to survive for white with this stone? I spent quite big time analyzing the situation. Let's, let's first see what, what happened in the game. So white played like this, trying to get forcing moves because if black cuts, normally there are extra forcing moves for white. So this is actually white's plan, have as many forcing moves as possible. Making black cut, white played here this Atari, and later white played this move at center so that later white can try to kill these four stones. So black came back, and this was the game. So black killed white. It's really big territory for black now, all this area is black's. Mm, yeah, I think it's really very big. Like some possibility to resist would be probably to play Ko. This might be okay for white to play this way because white has Ko threads connected with black's group on the top. White has their several Ko threads for killing this group, so I think it might be possible to think about playing this kind of Ko now. But if white was afraid of playing this Ko, I'm thinking about playing something different before this Hane. I'm wondering about playing this move. So that all the time it's possible to do some problems with these four stones. And when black comes back, now playing Hane. The difference is that it's possible for white to turn while playing on the second line. That it will not be possible for black to play this kind of exchange. If black plays the same moves, there is just one option kind of. So if black plays here everything, when white is able to play this exchange in center, black will never be able to play this move in center. The, this will not happen so that white doesn't have this bad shape, this empty triangle, which was here earlier. White got an empty triangle, yeah. playing so. this first, and later uh, being able to play something something here, so that now white doesn't have this empty triangle. Now there are also some options for white to play here, and later like taking this exchange in center and trying to do some problems for black. Next problem for black is that white might be actually able to cut here, black's shape. Even if black made this exchange at some point earlier, after this move it would not be possible for white to connect, because if we see that white can play here and later this will be center, so if black would protect the shape, uh, then white can connect here on the first line. But if we assume that this was played earlier, this exchange, then it's not possible to play the same, but it's still possible to play this kind of move to try to make some call. Uh, so all the time there is this possibility of connecting underneath between these two groups from white. So I think it would be good to make the stone somewhere here to be able to turn later on the second line and not make a bad shape. And if black plays from the other side, now white has more space to try to make there some eye. I think white can try to do some problems for black Maybe it will be possible to play something like this in center, so that black comes back, maybe something here. Maybe it will be possible to survive. Yeah, in the game, after this move, 
when White uh, didn't play the score and just connected and died with everything, suddenly this result became, I think, quite good for Black. And I think Black didn't make mistakes later, big mistakes in the last part of the game. And Black just defended the victory. So I think later Black played very well. And this advantage which Black got now, it was winning sequence for Black. Yeah, just we can also see this, what happened uh, later in the end game. So White reduced here a bit. Later, also quite yeah, got some exchanges in center. Now Black played here in this spot. Actually, uh, I think at some point White could also think about playing this one. It's center for White. I think it's quite big end game. White can play this immediately, so that Black will play here. I think it gives White some points. So this, I think, it would be good to play a little bit earlier. Now when Black played there, yeah, Black good this territory in the top left. Yeah, so here we've got basically the end game. Not many things happened. It was quite, uh, quite simple. Here, I think Black didn't need to play inside. It's a little bit better on points just to play this exchange. After this one, yeah, I think uh, White got here a little bit better situation because White takes away a liberty from Black. Uh, so later, White is able to capture also this call. Yeah, here we've got also. Some end game actually about points. I think it's a little bit more for white to connect. If black plays here, black gets three points. And if black captures this one, it's like one point and two thirds. It's center for black. We count the double, so it's three and one third altogether. A little bit more. But anyway, it's small small difference. Yeah, so here we've got basically the, the end game, and at the end, Black won this game by two and half. Uh, yeah, so this exchange here, this one, this part here on the bottom, it was quite, quite important part for White. If White was afraid of playing something like this, maybe it would be more interesting to start with this exchange first. So that if black plays here, black cannot kill so much. So like this, black is just less. And after playing the same exchanges what white played in the game, perhaps white would be interested in simply playing somewhere here on the bottom. Maybe it would be a little bit more interesting for white. Or some other idea what I had, it was after playing all these exchanges, maybe now it would be anyway quite interesting for white to just play from the other side. So if black fixes the shape, let's say black plays something here, then white can anyway try to kill this other free stone. So white basically sacrifices the center immediately on the start. And like this, I think it might be possible for white to get a little bit more here on the left than this what white got in the game. Later still, I think black will need to come back. Maybe white can get something like this. So I think it would be, it should be more interesting for white than this what happened in the game. Yeah, okay. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, this was the sixth round. I hope to meet you on some tournaments. Later we can speak live, we can review some other games. So thank you and bye.